so girthy gang i have uh never watched um uncle roger and our good friend pasta roni ravioli uh, i've heard her talk about uncle roger several times and so first off go down in the description and drop pasta a sub on youtube check her out she's super funny and then come back over here and we're gonna watch uncle roger disgusted by this eggs egg fried rice video so uh i've heard that he reacts to cooking videos and he, he's funny like how he reacts to them so let's get into it drain it Dra what's she doing what's she doing drain the oh my god you killing me woman hi uh, drain the she the rice Wait, are you not are you not supposed to drain the rice she draining rice with colander hi Hello, my name is Uncle Roger. To I might actually learn something watching him, so I'm excited about that. Today, I will react to a video sent to me by a fan. It's the BBC Good Food How to Make Egg Fried Rice video. What is BBC? Let me see. Is it like something dirty, like big black? Oh, it's the <laughs> British Podcasting Corporation. Okay, I already like him. He's got good humor. I like him. Okay, okay. That BBC is okay. Uncle Roger, not into the other BBC. Let's play the video. Is, is So does Uncle Roger, is this actually his voice or is he playing into like a character? Because, dude, that is, fu that is funny. He reminds me of uh, some of the Joe Coy skits. Easiest ever egg fried rice. Egg fried rice. Don't be afraid. This is really simple. It's cheap. If you got to start your video out with don't be afraid, you should be afraid. It's a character. Okay. Okay. That's, that makes it even funnier too. Cheap. It's delicious. Really satisfying. Rice. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Who afraid of egg fried rice? It's the most common dish. Everybody eat egg fried rice. Who afraid? Why are you afraid of egg fried rice? Where your curry? Wait, is this the guy that does the emotional damage? There's no shot. If we're learning something here, it is him, bro. What? Okay, well I've seen the emotional damage thing. That's crazy. I didn't know that. That's actually wild what that's that's funny shit. everybody eat egg fried rice who afraid why are you afraid of egg fried rice where your courage uncle roger scare ghost but you scare egg fried rice failure. failure this is really simple it's cheap it's delicious really satisfying and it's like a takeaway but you haven't paid eight quid for it who pay eight pound for takeaway egg fried rice my god they think money go on tree paying eight pound for egg fried rice hiya so a lot of people get is that i saw in the comments earlier hiya is that one of his things afraid of cooking with rice but you can follow a really simple rule which is for every one part rice you have you need two parts water it's a simple two thing. isn't it like one and a half who why you measure water with cup just use finger finger you put rice put water until finger first joint first joint the finger that's how you measure the water not with british tea cup hiya <laughs> First step all wrong already. I am not confident this video is going to be good. Enough rice for around two people. So now the rice is on. Wait, so you don't wash the rice? How you don't wash the rice? Just cook the rice. Now the rice stinky like you. Where you learn how <laughs> it's stinky like you. How to make rice. Some white people cooking school or something. Okay, all right. I need Uncle Roger though to take it easy on white people. Okay, not all white people suck at cooking but I probably don't wash my rice before I eat it. So now the rice is on, it's time to crack on with the eggs. Oh, ha ha, crack on. I see what you're doing. So punny, so humorous. I dying laughing, I dead now. I've got a frying pan here. Get that onto a medium heat and then just add a little bit of oil. So let that heat up. So one. Okay. Egg and egg fried rice. Try and do this one-handed. Oh. Okay, badass. Okay, that's pretty impressive. 
pretty impressive. I give you that. It's halfway. Once it's on a simmer. I'm not gonna lie, she's hot. I'm gonna say it. I know everybody is thinking it, but that's my opinion. You wanna cook it for around 10 minutes? You know what I don't like? Uncle Roger don't like induction stove. You know, those stove with no fire. Uncle Roger need the fire. Who use induction stove? It's so lame, so not satisfying. You go camping, you set up campfire, you don't set up camp induction stove. Oh, come. Is editing, I'll say, like, is editing it makes it even better, too. Everybody, come, come. I don't know if he edits his own camp videos, but it's stove. Funny. Let's tell story. Let's make marshmallow. 10 minutes. Wang your eggs in. Wang your. What? What? She say? What? She say? Wang your eggs in. Wang your eggs in. Don't put Wang anywhere near your egg fried rice. Don't Wang anything in kitchen, okay? That's how I got fired from Chinese restaurant. Onto plate, leave it to one side. I'm not gonna lie, those eggs looked decent. They didn't look overcooked. Okay. Okay, rice. We are looking good. The rice not looking good, you lying to people. So wet. Drain it. Drain. What's she doing? What's she doing? Drain the r Oh my god! You killing me, woman! You wanna keep it real? I thought that you drained rice too. Well, no. Well, okay, never mind. That okay, I don't normally make rice in a pot. I use a rice cooker, so I don't I would think to drain rice if you're cooking it like that. But I mean, if you're using two cups of water to one cup rice, then yeah, you'll definitely probably have excess water. Woman, hiya, drain the she the rice. She draining rice with colander. Hi. There's so much water left in that. That's actually crazy. And you drain rice with colander. This is not pasta. I never seen anyone drain rice. If your rice too wet, you fucked up. Don't bring colander into your rice cooking. Hiya. Get a nice rice cooker. Don't mess with saucepan like this lady here. Don't mess with colander. If your rice too wet, you recook the rice. No way to save wet rice. Has quite a lot of starch in it, which will make what it. The, what the hell? What the? Why wouldn't you just wash it to start then? The hell? Uncle Roger is so upset. I put my leg down from chair. Why are you running water through? <laughs> You ruining the rice first, you use colander to dry the rice and then you put water. I love the little foam thing on it too. And why bother drying the rice? Who cook rice like this? How did this woman get on BBC food? They never asked Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger teach masterclass on making rice, but this woman colander on the- Does he actually do cooking videos? I feel like, I feel like he would be so funny in an actual like cooking video. Rice. Then water through the rice. This is oh and oh. Uncle Roger sat now. It's a rib rice. <laughs> oh, dude, he is funny. Me now, and then just add your garlic and ginger. Garlic, ginger. Right okay, it's classic, classic Asian seasoning. Okay, this one. Okay. And then you want to put all the other ingredients in rice. Oh, the sad gloopy rice that ran through colander. The egg. This is the sad gloopy rice is too good. The spring onions. And okay, the peas. Okay. And then you just want to stir it all together and cook it through. We got some like protein in there. We got some like pork or chicken or shrimp. Hmm. For about three to five minutes. This look okay but look too healthy. Where your MSG? You don't use MSG, how to make good egg fried rice. This is just white people egg fried rice. MSG is the, the king of flavor. If you sad in life, use MSG. If you happy in life. What the hell is MSG? Am I an idiot? Use MSG, put MSG in everything. It'll turn it better. You just get a baby, put MSG on baby. It'll be better baby, smarter. And that's done. What is MSG? It's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna need an answer what MSG is. We need to know. Time to plate up. The colors are still oh, vibrant. No, oh no, no, no. The flavor enhancer. You're using metal to scrape your saucepan. Hiya, this is non-stick saucepan. Cannot use metal. Hiya, your, your pan. <laughs> like, I'm now seeing how much he says hiya. Monosodium glutamate. That shit sounds like it's not good for me. 
parents never teach you. If I use- And that's coming from a fat dude. Pen cannot use metal. Uh, yeah, your, your parents never teach you. If I use metal on saucepan at home growing up, I will be this old. No more parents. Why are you often? I use metal on saucepan. Mom don't want me anymore. Very few things break Asian people hut. One is when your rice run out. Number two is when you scrape pan with metal spoon. First my wife leave me, now you scrape pan with metal. Hi, yeah. Uh, Uncle Roger want a suicide. <laughs> Dude, he is funny as shit. Delicious. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Why are you proud of yourself? You... You messed up everything. You scraped saucepan with metal. You dry the rice and wet the rice and dry the rice with colander. You don't use MSG. Why is this woman proud of herself? Egg fried rice. Uncle Roger know how to make egg fried rice and Uncle Roger three year old. And this lady, I don't know, 34. A three year old? What? Did you say 30 or three? Making egg fried rice on induction hob. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Dude, I like him. I am excited to watch more BBC of his good stuff. Food. This is not good video. People use this video, make egg fried rice, that they think egg fried rice is disgusting. Not good for Chinese culture. BBC Good Food, next time you want to make egg fried rice video, ask Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger teach you proper technique, the Asian way. Follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram, it's my nephew Nigel. He set up Instagram for me, he managed my Instagram, but follow the Instagram. Bye bye. Dude, he is funny. I am excited to watch more of his stuff. Dude, now I can see why Pasta loves him. I'm excited to tell Pasta that, uh, that I've watched, watched him for the first time. That's so good, he is funny. I think, so one thing I do know about him is, uh, I believe she was talking about he does something with Gordon Ramsay. And I love Gordon Ramsay, so we'll definitely check that out. Uh, but make sure to put down any of the videos down in the comments down below that you like of Uncle Rogers, and we will check them out. But I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.